Jesus Christ. Did you see? I'm at Pennine Fishery here in Littleborough. Great fishery. Very, very well maintained. You, feel, you come here, you just feel as though it's something's taken care of. And the fish are nice as well. I mean, this isn't huge, you know, it's three pound, but <laughs> he's pretending to be huge, isn't he? What a lot of fun this is. This is just a load of fun. Right in the corner of the mouth, exactly where you want it. Why do I fish a three weight on a still water? Well, first of all, if you use the right line and the right leader and the right flies and the right rod, I can get distances like this. Check this out. Massive pickup, massive long line, flat calm. Leader perfectly straight in that flat calm. Big pickup, fish moving just there to the left. This is the good thing with a long rod. You've got a lot of control to just pick up and lay down exactly where the fish are feeding. And there he is. Ah, <laughs> you saw it though, didn't you? See, we haven't got the benefit of cover now. Oh, he's taking the buzzer. He's taking the buzzer. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> he took that, didn't he? <laughs> he had a Frosby flop on it. <laughs> and Fosbury took his new style of high jump over the bar and into the history books. Right in the corner of the mouth, that's what we like. Another nice fish. Okay. Again, I'm not taking him out of the net, don't need to. But it's a nice fish, right? Just where I wanted it. Get loop control. Get a nice pointy loop cut into the wind. Just like that. Bang. Exactly where I wanted it. See that? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I come right from the depths for that. Nice, 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 nice. I saw him come literally. Oof. Oh my God, what a cast. Jesus. <laughs> Dead straight. Dead straight, arrow straight. Do me a favor, you need a seven weight on a still water. Into a wind. Now we're talking. Nice fish. You know, and it's not about having a load of power in the butt section to play big fish. It's about having a load of power spread over the entire length of the rod. Okay, and if you look at that bend on that, that's what you're looking for. I mean, I've had bigger fish today, but this one's putting up a good fight. I feel so in control. I mean, look at the way the rod's bending. Why wouldn't you? Straight into that ripple on a three weight, no need for heavy gear, it's just mu there we go, I mean this is turning into a bumper day isn't it, okay, this is a nice fish, you see the bend on that micro like 10 foot 6 inch three weight, it's just a joy, you, people say you know some big fish you need to use heavy gear, look how quickly this came in, really quick, Nice fish. Oh, strong one. <laughs> Even if it goes on a really long run, all that line's off the water and it's not creating drag. So it's about the whole system. You know, you've got a long, 
rod that gives into the butt section to play these big fish. This is only a three weight rod. And if you've got a thin line, it's not cutting through the water, creating drag, he's going. Hmm? So if you scale everything back, you can fish like, can you see that? There he is. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get him on the real quick. Down to the back in already. On a three weight. <laughs> There's no need for heavy gear, especially in summer like this. Sure, if I was fishing the lures and sinking lines, I'd get something heavier on. But what could be more fun than this? going to be using the 10 foot 5 weight. Why? The fish have gone down. It's bright sun, it's the middle of the day. The fish will come back up again later on, about half 7, 8 o'clock. But why, why give up fishing? And why fish bungs? Let's go down, fish an intermediate, fish something like a snake fly, see how we get on. Just let it sink. Oh, there's a fish. See that? Straight away, Jesus. Yeah, that sinking line, you see? What's good about this SSI is that it sinks level. So you don't get that sort of bow in the sinking profile, you know? It follows a straight line path like that. It doesn't sink and rise and fall like that. I'm gonna turn the rod into what I call sports mode. A little less friction, turn the guy sideways. There we go. Oh, it's a nice fish. Yeah, into one on a sunk line now. Ah, I love dries, I love buzzers. It's a nice fish. I love sunk line. This to me is heavyweight gear, five weight. Oh, look at that rod bendy, man. Mm. Look at that for a bend. This is why I put the fighting butts on all these 10 foot rods. Keep that jammed in there, you know. Just feeling total control. Nice silver fish. Don't need to come out of the water. It is a flat, calm and bright sunlight. I've paired myself down to a 10 foot two weight Microlite rod, a Jeremy Lucas two weight dry fly line, a nine foot, 10 foot leader and a single clink hammer on the point. You can see the red post of that clink very, very clearly. If that's too bright, I'll swap to a plume tip, cul de canard. But for now, let's see how we get on. There you go. Did you see it? In again. Perfectly down there. That fish just is cruising. I'm just going to put him down there. He was cruising that direction. See if I can bring him up. There he is. You see that? See that fish that was cruising right to left? It's called lead. You've got to put the fly, you lead it. Absolutely love it. Fish are crazy here. Really acrobatic. Hard fighting fish. I've not really hooked a small one today. <laughs> Nothing under three, I don't think. So we're into something on a two weight. Okay, this is running. All right, big fish on a two weight. 
Mental, mental. Yep. Get in, mate. Ooh, big fish. Okay, Andrew, could you press me that net, please? Cheers, mate. Look how quick this came in. <laughs> On a two weight. Okay, I'm not going to bring him out. Andrew, would you say that's five pounds, four and a half? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Good four and a half, isn't it? Good four and a half, right? There he is again. That fish has come at it twice and now he's hit it. Nice. Now we're talking. You see the way with this two weight line, I'm lifting all that line is clear of the water so there's no excess drag in the water. This fish hasn't showed himself yet. You see the way it's cutting through the water, that thin line like a cheese wire, that's what you want. You just don't want any drag. He's carting around now. He'll make another run. He's gonna jump soon. Ooh, it's a nice fish. Oh. There you go. Oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> I mean, how good's that? How good's that? Flat calm, banging a two weight into it, lay out beautifully flat. That little fly just sitting in the surface. I saw it took once, saw it took twice. Said to you, oh, there's a fish there, bang. You know, how long did that take to come in? Less than five minutes on a two weight? That was a four pound fish. <sighs> Scale it up, put a 10 pounder on. I'll show you, it'll take eight minutes, okay? I like to work on a pound a minute at most. We do that with salmon, pound a minute. A minute a pound, sorry. <sighs> no difference here with the two weight. Nice slow pickup. No drama. Just getting that loop shape right to turn over that leader. Easy as that. I'm not exactly panzing them around. You see people playing stiff rods, they're only playing it from the top third of the rod, so they're basically only playing it from a four weight, not a seven weight. If you use the full length of the rod, this two weight's got more power than an average man playing it on a seven because I'm bending the whole rub. I mean, look at it, it's, it's, it's a mill pond, right? So what are you gonna do, bring a seven weight? Nah, you can't, it's not gonna happen. You gotta scale down, people don't scale down enough. You scale down, you hook more, you land more, but the main thing is, you have more fun. I truly believe it's kinder to the fish as well, I do. I've caught a lot of fish on lightweight gear, caught a lot of fish on heavyweight gear. It turns it from a cage fight into a chess game. Simple as that. More shock absorption, a rod has, the kinder it is on the fish. Stiffer the butt section of a rod is, it's like banging your head against a brick wall. Who wants that? Let's see how we get on. You don't have to cast far. There you go. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Holy Christ, holy Christ, that's no, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, did you see that? Get him onto the reel nice and quick. This is outrageous. I've never been to a fishery like it. I have never been to a fishery like this before. On a two weight. Bang. Okay. Nice fish again. You just don't need heavy gear. Did you hear that? Push. Hmm? I don't feel undergunned right now in the slightest. If I had a stiffer rub, I wouldn't be playing at this up. It's a nice fish. Ooh. 
It's like carp fishing. <laughs> hey? Absolutely mental on a two-way. This is what it's all about. Holy moly. And that's what we're talking about. Flat car, bright sunlight. Nice fish again. I can't take my eyes off that water at the moment. That fish took it. Oh, he's going. Easy. Oh, now we're talking. This is outrageous. They are big fish. There he is. See that? There's some cloud coming over, but it's essentially a blue sky day. There's some wind blowing into my face here. Oh, and there's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, I lost him. Microphone check, one, two. Something's happening. You ridiculed me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm going to have to swear. I can't believe that. 